back, guys, with summer in full swing. Patio season is also in full swing, and paella is the ultimate one-dish main course for entertaining. Chef Omar with Pesca Seafood Culture is here with us this morning. He's got a great, delicious <laughs> recipe for this wonderful, colorful paella. Hi. Hi. Thank you for letting me in. Of course. We are so happy that you're here. Okay, so explain what paella is. Well, paella, it's a Spanish dish. People think it's like the main Spanish dish, but it's actually from Valencia. Okay. So it's made of rice. Uh, you're always going to find it in the eastern coast of Spain. Okay. Most likely it's going to be uh, wheat seafood, but there's also some traditional preparation that had some meat and seafood. A uh, pesca, we start every Sunday the best way possible, which is making some paella, right. some fideo. And in this one here, you're going to find some bombo rice, mm -hmm. which is the traditional rice from this area. And it's known for, uh, because it's able to absorb three times its volume. Yes. In uh, in this case in liquid in without liquid, bursting right. and okay. it's just so good. <laughs> I know it, uh, this smells fantastic. I, I love paella because of what you mentioned that it includes so many different ingredients. Actually, right? yeah, just today we're featuring some tiger prams from Nigeria. We have some little necks from Florida, uh -huh. some Prince, uh, Prince Edward Island mussels, and this is just a little bit of the things you can get a pesca. Come see me, girl. Right, okay, so <laughs> tell us why this is so popular in the summertime. Well, uh, I want to say that, I mean, I guess in the summertime, people want to be outside. You know, right. even though it's hot, you want to stay outside. And this is something you really want to do with like a wood uh, fire pit. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very good. So my chef, my sous chef, Edgar, and I will, you know, sit out, oh, I guess, sit outside in the patio of Pesca and, and make, meet, it. make it. Yeah, every Sunday morning. So. Okay, so give us a basic step by step recipe, real okay. quick, for folks. So to olive put oil. This together. Every pie is going to have olive oil. Then you're going to have the sofrito, which is the, I want to say, flavor base of it. So okay. onion, bell pepper, a little bit of garlic. That's just an optional thing. Mm. Then. Uh, you're gonna have your rice. You're gonna. You need to make sure you have a very good fish stock. Okay. So once you make your sofrito, just start with your calamari, with your octopus. In this case, we had some pork chops in there, a little bit of uh, wow. cantimpalo, which is Spanish sausage or okay. dried chorizo, uh, the bombo rice. Then the fish stock. You need to make sure it's really hot. And as I said, three times the volume of the rice is gonna be in the fish stock, really flavorful stock. Mm. And then just keep seasoning, adding all of your seafood at the very end. And while it's simmering, you're gonna make sure all of your mussels and clams are. Happy, yes, smells steamy, so, or happy, opening. happy mussels and clams. <laughs> okay, so we're running out of time, but tell us what else can you serve this with? Well, the traditional way we serve this is with some grilled sourdough bread, mm, all right, and a little okay. bit of aioli, which is kind of like a mayo, I want to yeah, say, but yeah, garlic yeah. base. And that's about it. A couple of gray lemons, and that's some the traditional wine, some, some ah, cocktails. Some wine. What like some real hot, rias bajas? That smells <laughs> really good, Chef. Thank you so much. And um, give us some hours, real quick, in your location. Okay. Well, uh, we're located in the post, in the corner of Posto Lane and San Felipe. Okay. We're open seven days a week. But if you want to see this setup of the paella, you gotta come try our brunch, which is mm. every Sunday from 11 to 3 p.m. Yes, there's that all that information right there on your screen, as well as your guys' website. Very yeah. good. Thank you again. Thank you. Appreciate you coming. <laughs> Smells great. We're going to eat this later. Okay, we're going to post all this information for you, and you can check out a replay of this interview online on our website at click2houston.com. It'll be posted under the video tab a little after the show.